You know, every year in Texas, more than a thousand teenagers age out of foster care, free to go, many of them damaged and unable to succeed as adults. We profiled two young men who said that they were left homeless after aging out of the system. We shared their information that, with CPS, and 12 days after our report, CPS responded. Here's Channel 8's Cynthia Seguirre. I feel like they missed the point. Cedric Reed reviews the long list Child Protective Services provided to News 8, detailing the support and training given to him before he left the system. On paper, it looks like there was plenty of help to transition Cedric into independent living. He would disagree. So all this is just an object unless you can encourage and show me how to use it and spend some time with me before I actually have to use it. CPS sent us a summary of the services both Cedric and Najee Walder received. The transcripts show both young men had meetings and discussions with staff during their preparation for adult living training, or PAL class. In Cedric's case, it says more than $11,000 in voucher funds were spent to help him age out. But the vouchers were for services Cedric says he initially didn't know where to find. That's why he ended up homeless. This is an example of the failure of the system. No child should be aging out of foster care to begin with. We showed the list to Madeline McClure, founding executive director of Tex Protects, the Texas Association for the Protection of Children. She says it's not surprising children's rights groups have filed a lawsuit on behalf of the foster children of Texas given these outcomes. I don't think you can adequately prepare children to age out of the system when our preparation for adult living workers have caseloads of hundreds of children each. What does a foster child need to age out? Uh, better pre preparation. Cedric, who is now a registered respiratory yeah, therapist, you, says you know, we should not focus on pointing out. fingers, but rather on solutions. He says foster youth transitioning into adulthood need foster parents who are involved at home educating the children at an early age about basic life skills. Help them to find a job, teach them to drive, and educate them about the resources available to them like government housing assistance. Wouldn't that be cool if they knew about that and how to use that before they even left foster care? So, bam, you're going from a foster home to your own apartment. And bottom line, what we need to do for these children is make sure we have PAL caseloads capped, ensuring that the PAL workers is working with the foster parents in the home with the child on a repetitive basis. At the end of the day, Cedric has found his own successful path, but only through sheer will. He hopes this story sheds light on the urgent need to help give foster children their voice. You know, all of us have unique, you know, stories that don't have good circumstances, you know, that led to us being in the system, and we want a fighting chance. Cynthia Seguirre, Channel 8 News.